Hey, yo, we can't fight news. Man, Shelly Finkel, Wilder's co-manager, is sounding a whole lot like myself, E. King Fight News, when he says, hey, Team Joshua, you did all this running around, all this negotiating, but if you really wanted to fight Deontay Wilder, like you said you did, you would have fucking filed an exemption, wouldn't you? You would have filed that WBA exemption, so they can't come out here and give you a 24-hour deadline. <laughs> I've never heard of a sanctioning body give a 24-hour deadline to make a fight happen. I've, this is unheard of. Only in the world of Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn could this happen. He can't fight news. Shelly Finkel shreds both these guys. You know what it is. Man, as I said before, Shelly Finkel's starting to sound a lot like E. King Fight News. So let's get it. Let's get it. Shout out to the brother, Deontay Wilder. Shout out to that brother. Who honestly, what more could he do to try and make fight happen? Shout out to World Boxing News. What is this? That just popped. Hold on a second. What is this? Eddie Hearn. What was that? Eddie Hearn offers an April 13th date at Wembley? Hold on a second. What is this shit? World Boxing News. Hearn offers Wilder April 13th. Joshua date at Wembley. Are we talking about 2019 April? What the fuck? That's four months out on 20, 2019. You need you need another fucking damn near eight months before you get in the ring, Wilder. What is it? What is it right now? Hold on a second. It's not even fucking July. July. August, September, October, November, December, January, February. You need 10 fucking months to get in the ring with Deontay Wilder? Are we a year out? What the fuck is this? Eddie, only Eddie Hearn would offer a fight a year from now. And be, oh yeah, man, let's let's get it at Wembley. Just give us a year. <laughs> Fuck it. Get this hoe. Get this hoe the fuck out of here. All the way. Fuck out of the U.S. Fuck the zone. Yo, I will make it my my life, my mission of life to destroy the zone. <laughs> April? Are you kidding me? Let's check this out right now. Get the zone the fuck out of here, man. Get AJ the fuck out of here, man. Get all these dudes the fuck out of here, man. I'm done. Deontay Wilder, advisor and co-manager Shelly Finkel says, Eddie Hearn offered Deontay Wilder a date of April 13th at Wembley despite Wilder wanting the fight now. What is this? What is this trash? Okay, so Shelly Finkel says, Today I got a letter saying we're not going to fight you next, but we'll fight you after that. And it will be April 13th at Wembley Stadium. So basically, he can tell me next year, but he can't tell me a date for this year, which we aren't even, you know, past the six-month point. This dude's talking about there's whole, a whole fucking six months left in 2018. And he's talking about April 2019. And also, Shelly Finkel had this to say. I never said to Eddie Hearn I would be sending back comments. I wrote him saying I'm sending back the contract. And he knows the contract would have been signed. That's why today and all of a sudden the WBA have turned around and given 24 hours. 
This situation is an obvious disappointment to Finkel and the whole Wilder team, who believe Joshua would come through with his desire to make the fight happen this year. Joshua said on TV that I'll fight him next. He's not fighting us next. He also said, I swear, if he offers me $50 million, I'll take the fight tomorrow. Well, <laughs> yo, Shelly Finkel is killing it, man. Shelly Finkel exposes these hoes once again. Once again. Yo, it's Eddie Ho. It's Eddie Ho out here, man. Man, we ain't done, man. He can't fight news. Shelly Finkel asked them on Sunday what day and what venue, and they wouldn't tell us because they never wanted to do this fight. Now they can't come out and say, we don't want the fight, he's dangerous. But they're saying... They want it, and they're putting up every barrier they can to stop it. Wow, guys. Those are strong words. That's coming from a major power broker in boxing, guys. That's who Shelly Finkel is. E-King Fight News, we're not done. Man, this shit's annihilation, man. This is, this is some fucking... I mean, I think Eddie Hearn really got exposed here. I mean, at the end of the day... Did he even have any interest in making this fight happen? You offer this man, you offer Deontay Wilder, you say, oh, I don't want to fight you this year. I want to fight you damn near 10 months down the road. Oh, we can fight, we can fight in April, 2019. Man, get this, get this whole the fuck out of here, man. I mean, honestly, this is the biggest duck in heavyweight boxing history. And they expect Deontay Wilder to stall his career out for 10 months. That's what they expect. And even even if I mean I mean who know look what look what Oscar De La Hoya did to Triple G. Look what Oscar De La Hoya did to Triple G. Look what he did. Triple G wanted to fight Billy Joe Saunders in Kazakhstan. And Oscar was like, hey, hold on a second. You fight you fight Billy Joe, you're supposed to fight Canelo in September. You can't fight Billy Joe. He's like, and he said, if you fight Billy Joe, the fight's off. We, we, ain't, we ain't doing no Canelo fight. Forget about it. What's to stop Eddie Hearn from pulling some whole ass shit like that? I mean, knowing Eddie Hearn, knowing he really doesn't want this fight, and knowing the fact that he found every excuse. He even had to call up the WBA to, to pull a fast one on an unprecedented 24-hour deadline to make a fight with Pavek. Like, out of nowhere. Like, literally out of nowhere. And, oh, yeah. You know, if Eddie Hearn really wanted this fight, if you filed an exemption, you wouldn't even have this whole fucking issue happen. But Eddie Hearn, slick ass Eddie, ain't found for an exemption for a fight that he wants to make. Now is he gonna? Is is he? Is, why would he need an exemption for a fight that he wants to make? And the God's honest truth is he wanted to fight Pavekin from day one. There's a reason why he was on the undercard of Anthony Joshua fighting bum ass. That's right, bum ass David Price. Someone that anybody would have knocked out at that stage of his career. Damn near fucking Tony Thompson knocked him out twice. Give him anybody. Big Baby Miller would have knocked out fucking David Price. Fucking um, Luis Ortiz would have decapitated David Price. And Pavekin did the same. With, with a guy that really, he's got one right hand shot. And even then, you know, he doesn't have the confidence sometimes to finish the job. So... It's, it's such a shame. Such a shame. AJ, you're a duck for life. I eat you like Aunt Jemima pancakes. Get this whole the fuck out of here, man. We're done, man. We're, we're done with this whole shit, man. Honestly. AJ can fuck off right, 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 right along with fucking Alexander Povetkin. Fight, fighting the fucking juice trials and shit. Fucking best of the juicers and shit. I mean, I'm sorry, guys, but how how long do you have to dodge this WBC champion 
Is is it is it is it the right hand that, that really freaks you out, or is it the drug testing? Which one is it? Y'all gotta let me know, cause uh, I mean this boy AJ he shook. This boy, and I don't give a fuck. What what the how the fuck does February turn into April? I mean, what the fuck was Eddie Hearn saying? He he told the media, oh, oh I'll fight you in you know December or February. Where the fuck did April come into play? He offered the... This is facts, guys. This is facts. Eddie Hearn, according to Shelly Finkel, offered Deontay Wilder a fight in April of next year. That is the... What kind of slimy-ass greaseball shit is that? Y'all, you count the months. If you weren't paying attention, man, you can't fight news. Shout out to the whole team, man. Hit me up on Patreon, yo. Support the channel. Show up on Patreon. You know, and it is what it is, man. You can't fight news. We're out.